Vernon? Come here. <laughs> the story of Passover tells us that the Israelites were enslaved to the Pharaoh. That Moses delivered them from that slavery. But that the Jews wandered the desert for 40 years before being delivered to the Promised Land. And now all these years later, we find ourselves like the Israelites, living in biblical times. And like the Israelites, we also find ourselves wandering, waiting for the Lord to tell us how we can help deliver ourselves and our families back to the Promised Land. Well, you won't have to wait much longer. I've invited Vernon back to Mount Carmel under my guidance. <laughs> well, Lois, that's mighty kind. I do want to return to Mount Carmel. I really do. And one day I will. God has promised me that. But not under the rule of the Pharaoh. What are you talking about, Vernon? Look what's happened to Mount Carmel under your guidance. It's falling apart. And does anybody look at Mount Carmel right now and say, wow, God has blessed this place? Or do they look here, in these woods, at these passionate believers, and see that this is where God has chosen to stay? God has left you, Lois, and I can't bring him back to you. Look around. He's here with us, just like he was with Moses. We will return when the time is right. But not when you tell us. You bastard. I am the lamb, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. No, no, you're not. You are the serpent. Come on. Ruth? <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay here for a bit. I'm sorry. 